Hello, hello, hello there one. This is Bad Health for you. Welcome back to part three of my Doki Doki Salvation replay. Uh we're getting into the new goody of it now. Uh when we last left off, Monica said some things that's a little bit uh, Monica said some things that were a bit uh out of the ordinary, out of place they were a bit out of pocket uh as we would say <laughs> for everything shit happened we tried to with natsuki but then monica interrupted and kind of reset the whole day on us i i think she's now kicking into high gate her plan b of uh trying to get the player to uh uh go with her no matter the cost and uh she said that she's sorry for what she is about to do and that we are causing what's about to happen. So Ugh, something bad's gonna happen. Uh we just don't know when it is. Anyway, we're back here with apparently the MC confessing his love once again for the millionth time to Siri. So let us go. I gotta drink some water first. Hold on. I have to prepare for this. And that's why everything to me, Siri. I took you for granted for so long, but now I realize how much you really care for me. I've been so dense my whole life, but you finally give me a wake up call. He admits it. He finally admits that he's a fucking dense brick. Congratulations, MC. You've realized your flaw. Okay, how are you gonna change it? Are you not gonna change it at all? Or are you going to change it for the better? Can we can we get a round of applause for the MC for finally acknowledging that he is a fucking dense brick? I love you, Sari. I'll take Sari's hands in mine and I'll smile back at her. Her eyes are now filling up with tears. Her blue eyes are sparkling in the sunlight. Oh, Pat. Everything used to be so hard, but nothing can take me away from you. You always used to feel like the one was poking my heart, but now they make me feel fuzzy. It feels nice. You so oh. oh what? Huh? Wait. What but I'm so terribly depressed. You didn't save me at all. I'm just telling you this so they won't worry about me anymore. But uh, Monica? Hello? I'm actually dead. You didn't save me in time. My corpse was still hanging lifelessly in my- What? Hello? But you don't care, right? You only care about not see. Yuri? Monica? It's okay, Bat. Let me go, Bat. Get out of my head. Oh my god. Fucking Jesus Christ. Why do I feel like that was Monica directly manipulating everything? Just kind of letting us know that, hey, she still has power over the code. And can change it whenever the fuck she wants. And caused that to... What the fuck, man? What the actual fuck? <laughs> like, everything was going so well, you know, it was going so well, we were like, I love you, Sarah, I love you so much, and all of a sudden, Maga comes in here with like, no, actually, you know what, I'm gonna tell you that she's dead, and <laughs> spin this in a way, so that you should not spend time with Sarah, and you should spend time with the other girls, especially Monica, me. The one that is causing all of this to happen in the first fucking place. <sighs> I despise this. I despise this. Why are you giving a cold sweat? I saw hyperventilating. I would too. I actually might hyperventilate. <laughs> anyway, this wasn't real, was it? It felt so real. Before I reflected on it, I wanted to grab my phone and text her immediately. Morning! Oh, thank God, Sarah, you had a nightmare. 
Oh, poor man, it wasn't super scary. It was kinda scary, I just need someone to talk to. Well, lucky man, I'll give you a big hug outside, okay? Phew. I don't think it would have been a good idea to tell you about the nightmare. And even I wanted to, I can't exactly remember the details anyway. Uh, it probably dealt with them. Um, someone was saying it was all your fault. She stole that. She is still hanging out in her room. It was all your fault. I am still dead. Let me go get out of my head. And see, I'm still dead in my room, hanging lifelessly. You should spend time with Monica. Anyway, before my usual morning routine, I head downstairs. And just like that, we're not out. Alright, the poem for tonight. Laugh, lazy, loud, love, lucky. Luck is what I call it. I'm lucky that I found a place I can go home. I used to be dense, I uh, belong in a fence, but now I'm no longer alone because you all are a part of my reality. Actually, good poem, Bat. Good poem for once. Good job. It's not my best. In fact, that totally sucked, but I'm really going to be late if I don't hurry. Oh, that's right, I forgot they were going to the pier for uh, a group, you know, club. <laughs> uh, uh. And see, so you're outside waiting for me. So who's been getting up on time recently? It's nice seeing the bright smile greet me every day. As I walk up to the area, she runs and gives me a big hug. Now oh, those bad dreams can't hang you anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. It's nice to see you so happy, Sari. I'm going to just open something up here really, really quickly. Yes. Hmm, yeah. I'm just gonna minimize it. Hold on. I'm just gonna minimize that then. There we go. Nice to see you so happy, Sayori. Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better recently. Hey, by the way, what took you so long? Oh, but I, uh, kind of forgot to write a poem for today, so I wrote one real quick. Bat, you gotta get better about that, you know? This is the second time in a row. Oh, I know. I have to get my phone and check the time. Oh, jeez, we gotta go. We're gonna be delayed if we don't hurry. I grab a serious hand and run with her. We arrive at school just in time. I go through all my classes only thinking of the literature club. I'm going through the club. I couldn't stop thinking about that nightmare I had. I don't even remember what it was about, but something keeps telling me it was important. I brush off these thoughts and hurry to the club. Hello, girls. As I'm at the club, everything is as always is. Not skipping the corner. Manga, you're eating a book, Sarah's eating a snack, and Monica is. Wait, uh, Monica's. She's not there again. Come, come on, Monica. I know you're plotting something, but Jesus Christ, at least be on fucking time for once in your goddamn life. Please, I tell you, I, be I beg of you. Why do you think you remember me so much of that dream I had? Well, she directly influenced it. And you know it, but you can't remember because she wiped your memory of it. Thinking about it only makes my head hurt. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm worrying myself over nothing. Surely it's nothing. Monica opens the door. She seems very confident today. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Past couple of days, past couple in-game days, she was looking very, very tired, and now all of a sudden she's perfectly fine. What the f fuck do you have going on in your life, Monica? Jesus Christ! It's okay, Monica. You made it here. That's what matters. Not getting you so engrossed in the books. They don't say anything to look at all. Okay, everyone. We're all going to the pier to read our poems today. I see that everyone has the poems ready, so I'll go home and change to more comfortable clothing. Okay, I guess each of you has to pick you up. Sound good? We all know it's a cop together. So you and I walk home together. Just like that. Okay, well, I'll go to the pier. I'll pick you up on my one. See ya! 
She gives me a cheeky smile before turning around. I'll see you at the pier, Bat. I wave as she goes inside her house. She has a bounce to her step. Seeing her happy warms my heart. I go inside prepare for the night. Fearless goodbye. What, what to wear is not much of a choice. All I have are just t-shirts and jeans. I quickly throw something on and go outside. It's night out. I love this night background. I love it so much. As I come out of here, Marcus already gets a pick up fairy and I, Natsuki and Yuri are already in the car as well. I've never seen Marcus drive before. Why was this, why did you question that? <laughs> why out of everyone do you question that? I've never seen Marcus drive before. <laughs> she has a car, you know that? <laughs> it's not like you you don't have a car, wait. Right? Yeah, why is Monica the one that has a car? What? As far as we know, Yuri and Natsuki don't have a car. They walk home all the time. So do the MC and the Sayuri. Not once has there been any inclination that Monica owns a car, let alone can drive one. I don't know why, but I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like how we've never once... Anyway, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Something about that just makes me feel uneasy, you know? So you quickly runs outside and jumps in the car. Hey guys, it's just so easy to get going. Seems like it is the space in the back seat. Yeah, well, if you can squeeze next to Yuri, that is. <laughs> uh, so you open the back door, I know Yuri's taking up most of the seat. Uh, hey, Yuri, you kind of... What's wrong with that? Am I doing way? A little bit. It's okay, I'll squeeze it. As I'll squeeze it next to you, I notice he's struggling to move. We found ourselves in a pretty awkward position. I can help him blush a little bit. What does Monica's car have to be so small? I know what the problem is. He's buttoned. First it's her boobs, and now it's her butt. <laughs> she just got big everything, you know? Big boobs, big ass. She got that dumb trick for real. Sorry. <laughs> Yuri turns away, blushing heavily. Okay, this car is which is more far apart for us. I have a bike I can use yet though. We can just... Really? You're going to not squeeze in and instead... Oh, it's... Fine, there's no room in here. I have a bike that I can use. MC, you are it. Yeah, wow. Okay. Hey, don't leave me here alone, Bat. Come on, Sarah, you won't be left alone. You have all your sons right here. Uh. <coughs> Ah, uh, the MC's attention here is making me cringe. How about I text you till you get this? I, uh, I hate that. I hate this. I don't like this. I don't like... Why is the MC being like this? You can literally just cram in there and... <sighs> do any of Do any one of you know how to drive, huh, MC? Not ski. Yuri, Siri, do any of you know how to drive? Because we can kick Monica out. <laughs> kick her out of this bitch. Kick her out of her own car. She knows where the fuck to go. We can just drive her. We can just drive to the pier. All of us, Monica can walk. Fine, but promise me you won't stop texting me until I get there, okay? Promise. Uh... Yeah, the... I'm roasting MC for this decision. I'm... I will literally yoke him out of this motherfucker for this one goddamn decision <laughs> that he does not want to take the car. Why? <laughs> Why though? <laughs> you know, anything bad happens just because you didn't take the car. I'm blaming whatever happens on you. Monica pulls out and I watch the car drive away. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Mark, go to sweat. I'm gonna fucking crash this car. She has ill intentions. Something malicious is brewing over there. She's like, I'm gonna crash this car, and you're all gonna fucking die, and I'm miraculously gonna survive, so that the MC and the player only have me to deal with. <laughs> bye bye, bitches! Y'all are going to heaven, or hell, or whatever you go, because you're dying. I remember. I remember that I know a shortcut to the video, so I decided to take it. I wonder if I can beat them there. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, Katie. I remember the penis is not a bike next to a nearby tree. To my surprise, I'm not showing up yet. Oh, I wonder where they are. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I wonder where they are. Did Maggie get lost again? Hello? I followed my friend and text Siri. Hey, Siri, you guys on your way? I'm already here. Almost, Marcus said we should stop at the store to get some snacks. Ah, oh, yeah, the stop at the store to get some snacks. Uh huh, yeah, mmm. Mmm, sure. Likely story. <laughs> Alright, that sounds good. Can you buy some candy? Sure, babe, but promise you keep texting me. Sarah and I text back and forth, talking about home, Zorge Club, and the other girls. It's been about an hour, and they have not come here. <laughs> I wonder if they're dead. I finished refining the phone with my phone. It's been 15 minutes since I got here. Who the hell are they? Well, I mean, dead <laughs> is one is one thing that you could say. I mean, <laughs> as that were there, you know, roaming around the neighborhood, which is highly unlikely for Monica, so I'm going with the first option, saying that they're dead. So he hasn't replied either. The last message she sent was, I can't wait to get here. I mean, it shouldn't take that long to stop at a convenience store. I don't really know what to do when I look like an idiot standing around, so I take a seat out of the bench and play on my phone. 30 minutes go by. This is taking so long. Did they ditch me to go on the girls' night out? P possibly. <laughs> they possibly did. Say so would have texted me, right? I mean, if Monica said no phones, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I'm getting really worried, so I call Sayori. She's not gonna pick up. Exactly. She's dead. <laughs> Nothing. Shit. I try calling Natsuki. No. I was joking. Again? For the second time this playthrough, I was joking! I was j no. No. I was joking when I said that Monica was going to crash the car. It's not like say to uh, just ignore a phone like that, not since this point I'm panicking because I just keep calling Sari. I didn't care about blowing up her phone or being annoying, I just couldn't check this film because something bad happened. Uh, I, I feel like my joke came true about Monica crashing the car now, which I don't like. I hate that. The sirens. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, like, Monica crashed the car. It's official. It's official. It is official. Monica crashed the fucking car. Oh my god. I feel bad now that I said that whatever happens is the MC's fault. But, come on. Like, why wouldn't you go in the fucking car in the first place? Just, man up. And squeeze in. It doesn't matter if it's an awkward position to be in. You could have squeezed in. You could have squeezed into the car, MC. You. Ever willing to bet that if MC was in that car, that's what had happened. If the MC was in that car, this would not have happened. Now, Monica crashed the car because she wants to get closer to the MC and the play, and she figured 
Hey, if I couldn't kill one of them, why not try to kill all of them? No, I don't feel... I feel ill. I feel uneasy right now. I actually do. I kind of forgot that this happened. I had a sneaking suspicion that something was going to happen, but I didn't know what it was. There go the joking about the crash in the car, but... I... I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. The moment I questioned, the moment we all questioned uh, how we have never seen Marco drive a car, that is the first instance where I should have said, oh shit, she's planning something dastardly. And apparently, she did. Bat's gonna go up there and she's gonna find the car has been crashed. Every old drone will take over. I went over to my bike and stopped pedaling as fast as I could. Oh! Holy shit. What is this? Monkeys can climb. Shit, crickets can leap. You. Oh! Don't do that. Don't do that. Literally do not do that. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I'll just keep on pedaling. Check my phone and try calling Siri again. Monica crashed the car. Siri's so going to be unconscious, just like the rest of the fucking girls. Siri, so Yuri, Natsuki, Monica, all of them are going to be unconscious. All of them. Fucking all of them. Oh, rotating, rotating, axel, grinding, bolt hit, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a port into the world. A thin rope tied with thick rope. Oh. Oh. I hate this. I can I can I say I despise this? I finally reach the street. It's nearly empty. No cars are about. It's not even that late. The silence slowly fade away, but another general direction they were coming from. I quicken my pace once more. My legs are on fire, but I ignore the pain and keep moving. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. For the moment that I actually finish, it just stops me. Ooh, bro! I just want to look at you, you dummy. Oh. I... My hands are shaking, like visibly shaking, like a little shaking, like actually shaking. I'm shaking. Well, those, you know, I was fucking joking. I will say it again. I was fucking joking about the car crash, but apparently it's real. Apparently it fucking happened. I'm trying my best here to keep my composure. I'm trying my best here. My eyes are watering. I'm trying my best here. I'm literally trying my best here. What the hell happened? I stare at the car neck in tatters. Those wheels are nowhere to be found. A couple of police officers put you away from the scene. What the f Yeah, see, this would have happened at the MC within the car. This wouldn't have happened at the MC within the car. Hi, Dad. What you doing? What are you doing? The M this wouldn't have happened if the MC was in the fucking car. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't even know how to feel. 
I don't know how to react to a skin like this. My friends are dead. Whoa. Pump my phone answers the call. Sir, what happened? Are you okay? Where are you? Sarah first tells her to slow down. Her voice is shaking when she speaks. Everything's okay, but we all made it out okay. We're in the hospital. Thank God you're okay. How are the others? They're gonna say that Monica was not feeling right. And that something was switched and something flipped. And she crashed the car. Don't cry. My eyes are watering. My eyes are fucking watering. Don't cry. Don't fucking cry. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't cry. Even though every fiber of my being right now is like screaming at the MC for not fucking going with them in the car. I feel like that's just not good writing. I I don't want to say that about a mod though. Like, this mod's great. This mod's awesome. But I mean, ugh, that writing in that one moment is just ugh, it pains me. It pains me to his soul that the MC did not actually take the car and instead opted to go on his bike and leave them in the hands of Marga, someone that we know now is not alright in the head. And we're gonna find out soon enough that Marga is the one that caused this. Okay, my hand really hurts, so I have to say it might be broken. Pull so you broke your hand, and yet even a scary moments like these, she found a way to make everything seem alright. I'm glad that the other- I'm glad that only a hand would damage though. I wonder how the others are. So glad you're okay, Sari. How are the others doing? I'm heading over there right now. Well, Yuri actually protected Natsuki. Yuri took most of the hit. Natsuki hit around pretty bad though. Well, that's good, but what do you mean Yuri took most of the hit? How bad is she? This is actually gonna make me fucking cry, isn't it? This is actually going to make me ball my eyes out. I feel it coming. I feel it. I fucking feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in my sonic. I. See, now it's anger. Now it's fucking anger for. I'm just. I'm just not gonna say anything. And I'm just gonna continue. The doctor said you took a pretty bad hit to her head. I'm not. Not there a lot, but I don't like hearing about all my friends in these conditions. Why did Monica insist that I walk today? Yeah, she did. She was on driving out of another car around. But how would she act like you? I still care about her. How about Monica? Is she okay? She was driving, of course. She's okay. She was definitely here waiting with the me and the girls. So he says, genuinely concerned. It sounds like she's about to. Monica wanted us to cross the car. It was planned. She wanted us to walk. And we just blindly accepted that. Even though we knew for a fact that she was not feeling right at all. Her offhanded comments to both Sari and Natsuki. Her offhanded comments about everything. Why didn't the MC question it? Why didn't the MC question why Monica wanted him to walk? Why didn't the MC fucking 
question it. I swear to God. So I ain't hanging up gonna start running towards the hospital. I'm sitting in the waiting room for what seems like forever, texting back and forth with very comfort in her. I see a nurse walk out from one of the offices. She hands me a visitor's pass and a note that has the respective room numbers for each of the girls. Sari 401, Natsuki 402, Yuri 402. No. This can't be a fucking coincidence, right? Can't be a fucking coincidence that Marcus' room number is 404. Like. That's no fucking coincidence, right? That is no fucking coincidence. There's a... That can't be a coincidence. That... No, I refuse to have that be a coincidence. I refuse to believe that is a coincidence. 404? Really? You're gonna put the one that knows all about Python and code? And Rempai? In a room? 404? Known for... You know, four, four not found. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> it's actually like. It's taunting me at that point. It's taunting me at this point. It's like. It's taunting me at this point. <sighs> As I walked out the elevator, I started thinking about Monica. What sort of condition is she in that Sir can say? She said she was okay, right? I walk into the lobby and go up to the fourth floor. The stairs room is the first one on the left. I gently knock at the door and walk in. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. He's a bit bruised without. Sarah was still wearing to cover her clothing. A little blood stain from one I assume came from her broken hand. She has a cast in her left hand that she already doodled on. She also has a bruise on her right arm. Seeing a serial like this was nearly unbearable, but at least she's alive. Ben, I'm so glad you're okay. She says up for the bitch who was lying and gives me a big smile. See, it's not so bad. <laughs> she shows me a cast and it googles. I laugh a bit too, feeling a little emotional. I'm glad you're okay too, sir. It must have been pretty scary. Oh, it was. I thought I was going to die. It was so loud and scary. So I also get kind of shaky and nervous. I got her out to the bed and give her a hug. Sarah's warmth in my arms reminded that she's alive. A little scratched up, but alive. That's all that matters to me. We look go of each other and stare into each other's eyes. I, I was really worried, Sarah. I was afraid to lose you again. Oh, bad. It feels really nice to hear you kidnap me, but you know... Before I could let her finish, I placed my left against hers. I feel the gas a little off surprise. The kiss is a little more intense than last time. I see her suddenly went and pull away. So I hear in the moment, bat. My hand still hurts. Oh, that's alright. I forgot about your hand for a moment there. We talked for few minutes before I have to leave check on the others. Bye, bat. Oh, can you call the nurse in here? I call Sarah. Anything. I whip down one of the nurses and give Sarah a goodbye hug. I'll come back shocking you later, okay? Don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. I don't feel comfortable with the way she thought that. I care about the others, but I'll make sure to come back to Sarah once I'm checking them. I walk next door and knock on Natsuki's door. But I don't know who responds and decide to invite myself in. I open the hole to find Natsuki lying in bed with her eyes closed. Psst, Natsuki? Natsuki quickly opens her eyes and freaks out a little. Ooh. Hey, why'd you walk in when I'm trying to sleep, you creep? Sorry, sorry, I'm glad to see you doing okay, Natsuki. This whole thing must have been pretty scary, huh? So you all okay? Natsuki looks down her broken arm. Yeah, it's okay. It still hurts, but they give me medicine for it. I, I don't know if Sari told you, but... I knew what Natsuki was getting at. She must feel bad the fact that you protected her. It's okay, Natsuki. Don't stress out about that. You should rust up your arm. Natsuki shakes her head. Look. I trust you. This isn't very easy for me to say, so just listen, alright? 
I feel really bad that you took that blow from me. She got pretty messed up. I mean, I totally would have handled myself. She didn't have to pick up me. You can admit or not, Ski. Yura really does care about you. She sees you as one of your closest friends. You will just struggle to admit it. Nasuki blushes, but fails to deny it. Whatever, but I'm tired now and you're freaking out, so you should leave. I don't want you to walk to sleep. Alright, alright. Take care, Natsuki. I don't want to see Yuri. I don't want to see Yuri. I told the end of it, still have I'm a little worried about what I'm about to see. I don't want to... I don't want to... I'm about to fucking lose it. I am... I'm about to fucking lose it. <sighs> you used to put her bed. Her forehead's wrapped in bloody bandages. Her face is real with scars from what I assume is glass. She looks pretty sedated. I assume she gave the doctors a hard time. Oh, Yuri. Hey, what are you doing in my room, silly? Yeah, definitely sedated. Well, as long as you want to pain, Yuri. Hey, <laughs> it feels good. I'm just gonna see that's the center of talking. Hey, Yuri, shouldn't you be getting some sleep? Hey, I don't need sleep. Sleep is for the week. And being left to saying this, Yuri collapses into my arms, snowing softly. I carefully carry her towards the bed and lay down. I brush her aside so it doesn't hurt her vengeance. I wish her a good night and exit her room. Oh my god. Here we go. What? Maga. Siri did check you out pretty messed up, even more so than Yuri. Hope she's alright. Quietly now gonna wanna walk in. Wow. Yeah. She looks fine? I don't know if there's anything wrong with her, at least not at first glance. She seems to be resting peacefully. As I walk closer to her, injuries become more apparent. Her sweater slightly torn and her face was cut out of his by small shards of glass. I look over at the clipboard next to her. Oh no. I don't understand much of the medical jargon, but the words that stand out to me are... Can I just... Can I just not? Can I just... Stop playing this? Can I just say we're done here? We're done for this session. Goodbye. Uh, this is bad at hell. We'll see all of you in the next video. Can I just say that? Can I say that now? Like, can I just fucking say that now, please? Head trauma, concussion, possible memory loss, and coma. Uh, as I watch her be softly, I think about how stressed she was. How hard she tried to make today great. She really is a great president. I take a seat to chain next to her and grab her hand. Is this really me doing this? You know, Monica, I think you're amazing. The things you've done with this club, how you brought everyone together, I appreciate all of it. You really are amazing, Monica. I just wish you weren't so out of my league. I would have loved to care for someone like you. The hell, why am I saying these things? What? Yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm... Oh, I'm so glad you feel that way about me, Vat. I don't sound too crazy. I'm not the assessor type, but I just lose control of myself. Oh. 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 Ooh, oh, bonds. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Yikes. Yikers. Ooh. But that is going to be it for me for this uh, session now. Wow. That was uh, a lot. A lot to take in for that one. That was just a 
a uh, little 40 minute late night session. Yeah. Just a little late night show. But, uh, yeah. I will see uh, all of y'all in the next episode of uh, Doki Doki Salvation. See all y'all in the next episode. Later.